Yeah. All right, guys. Gavin just caught this giant burbot. Can you hold it up and show him the side? The state record is 33 inches. This one is 31 inches, only two inches shorter than the state record. Gavin, turn this way a little bit so they can see, no, this way, so they can see the belly. Hold them up, like if you can. Just a giant, and this is a trophy fish. Uh, and Gavin and I talked about it. We, uh, why don't we let him go, Gavin? You're a big giant fish, all right? Look at how long and big that thing is. That is a trophy fish, bud. He's gonna flop right down the hole. That is a monster, buddy. There she goes, your trophy eel pout. Talk about that a little bit, because we talked about it. This is a this is a tip that isn't often talked about. And those are really special fish. And Gavin really kind of wanted to keep that fish, but what did we talk about? That it's just like other fish. When you clean it, you can catch three of the three of them, and it'll be as much stuff little ones that will get bigger and it's good to let stuff go because then just to let them grow bigger and let somebody else catch them and be happy for it and I hope they let him go because then he can just live a good life and it's if you catch a bunch of walleyes it's just the same as cutting cutting up it it's just meat and little pieces of meat like a little walleye it doesn't mean anything after you eat it it's, you'll just remember eating it and then when you let it go you remember letting it go this this moment letting it go so that's what we talked about a special moment seeing them swim away right yeah gavin's talking about you know we talked about keeping them and maybe cleaning them and eating them but we have so many nice little fish to keep in the bucket that we wouldn't even realize it so it's more special to let that big one go and it's a good feeling right now right to know that you mm -hmm. caught that giant you got to watch them swim down the hole Show everybody the pictures, and then there be like, then the that's all you need the pictures. You don't need to eat it, because once you eat it, it's nothing anymore. Yep, that's once it. Once you let it go, it's. So that's mm -hmm. your that's your ice team tip, and one that's not talked often about, especially with an eel pout. You know, that is that is a true trophy fish. I mean, uh, the state record is I think 19.8 pounds, and that that one was probably a 15 pounder. That was a really big one, 31 inches, and bigger one that's bigger than any eel pot that i've ever caught so congratulations to you gavin let him go give me a hug that's a great moment for a father and son and and make sure you guys respect respect the trophy fish whether it's a big giant 10 inch bluegill or a 30 inch walleye you can get replicas made if we wanted to get a replica made we can do that now so let those big ones go keep the little ones to eat and it protects it protects our fishery because there's no doubt that anglers are 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 the ones that can only dictate whether a fishery stays healthy or not so that's that's your ice team tip right buddy there's a lot of other fish in the lake than just that one yep and that's why we're gonna let them go so ice team tip that's a hog belly buddy give me a big hug <laughs>